Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. In today's episode, we are going to be doing an unboxing of some PCBs that I ordered from PCBWay. Now, PCBWay is sponsoring this video. However, I did purchase these chips myself and all the opinions are going to be of my own. No persuasion whatsoever. So I'm recording this segment now because I don't know if you could tell based off my voice, but I am starting to get sick. I could feel it and I can hear it. So figured we should probably record this segment now while I could still talk. So let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing and go from there. So this is the box that arrived from PCB Way. And uh, like I said, I did purchase these little chips myself. And what they are, see we got some styrofoam in here. It looks like they're kind of vacuum sealed. They are little Game Boy chips that connect to our flipper zero. And we'll have to use these pins here. You plug it into the top of your flipper zero and then you could trade Pokemon. Let's go ahead and get this unwrapped here. Getting our handy dandy kniff. Cut that open and let's go ahead take a look at one of these guys, huh? So here is the chip. That's a little Game Boy with a silly face on it. We got four pins. So I'm gonna have to cut these up to just be four pins. And then, uh, like I said, you plug that in and then you get your trade cable. You connect it here and uh, you're all good to go. The person that designed this board is Jack V Makes uh, under the shared projects. And uh, so I have 30 chips here. And uh, if you're interested in buying one of these, I'll probably end up selling the uh, leftovers. Uh, I'll probably just keep one, maybe two for myself, uh, and then do the others, sell them on the website, modernbroadcast.tv. That's right, we do have a new website. Uh, modernbroadcast.tv is going to be the official place for the Modern Broadcast uh, channel, um, and just go from there. So when it comes to this, I'm fairly certain this is the top. Oops, let's focus over here, please. This is the top, this is the bottom. So we'll have our pins going down, and then it connects to our flipper zero if the front was here, like so. I don't have my flipper zero in the garage with me, so plug it like that, and then you plug the cable in through the back. So let's go ahead and get some pins soldered onto here, and uh, see what it's like. All right, so we're back here again with the flipper zero, and so I was thinking kind of about how the tracers are, and I got it plugged in correctly now. Excuse me, I got it plugged in correctly now. And yeah, basically what was going on is I was doing the wrong pin configuration. So if we go into apps, we go to GPIO, and then if we scroll to the Pokemon, down here at the bottom, there's select pin out. So we were doing custom, which is not correct. Basically with this board here, you want to just keep it at the original, which is C3, B3, and B2. And really what helped me out was that there was this image on Etsy of a very similar chip that has the wires crossed and you could see where the traces were going to which pin. And I was mowing the lawn and all of a sudden it dawned on me that, hey, you know, that this is where it needs to go. And I gave it a shot, I tried it, and it actually worked. Now a couple other things that I did is I purchased a very, very, very basic trade cable off Amazon that has nothing throughout the cord where I've tried many cords now and like this one is dual that has like these little things in between where it's all wired up and then same on the other end. I tried another one that had a like a block in the middle of it and it wouldn't work with that one either. And so I went to level seven games and I talked with my friend Dakota who runs Retro Repair Resale. And he was saying that due to these extra connections, it's weakening the signal. And most likely there's just not enough signal from the Flipper Zero to the Game Boy using one of these cables. Now I'm gonna test that now, now that we know for a fact, we have the right pin configuration for our, our chip set here. I'm gonna test it now and see if that's the case. I'll have a link in the description below for this trade cable that I did use that I do know works. So let's go ahead and turn on our Game Boy. So we have that original pin select out. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this here. I'm gonna say trade Pokemon. I'm gonna say connect GB. I'm gonna connect this side and it says that this area is reserved. So I'm fairly certain that we're just losing too much signal as it's transferring through the cable, through these wired bricks because there's multiple cables. If we switch back to the basic one, connect this side, connect our here, and there we have it. Now it works. So it looks like we're trading Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur and Bulbasaur will be traded. Trade. 
Okay, and let's make sure it worked. Just going to push start. Go to Pokemon, Bulbasaur, stats. And we see here the original trainer is Flipper. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. If you're interested in purchasing one of these chips, I will have them available for sale on modernbroadcast.tv in limited quantities, roughly about 20 of them. Again, another shout out to PCBWay for making this video possible. Thank you so much uh, for all you do for the tech community, PCBWay, and these chips are fantastic. Have a great week, everyone, and take care.